Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jivin Tamoy and in this video guys, we're going to be reacting to the top 12 announcement and the evening gown round. So let's go if you're going to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is driver here. If you have not checked out my reaction to the swimsuit round, you guys can go check it out. And uh, yeah, now without any delay guys, let's just get into this reaction. Which of these 25 girls will be given a spot? Oh, yeah. yeah, wonderful candidates. That will be caught. We have a special challenge. It is time, Nico, to All right. tell our first candidate. Okay. Oh, please okay. tell. Quick. <clears throat> Welcome to the top 12 winner of fan vote title. Okay. Must be some this Asian country or Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. Wait, this year's like usually European countries are not that very crazy about you know pageant, but this year Denmark is very popular. I don't know how, why. Is she like a celebrity back in Denmark? Mm, okay. Wait, who is that next? India. You are one step closer to getting that special job, miss. Finland! I, I don't even remember her walk because probably because they didn't even show us. Moving ahead in this experience is... Miss Thailand! Oh, as she should. I don't threw some hands. Noticed by the panel of experts, Miss Czech Republic. Please come and take your spot, Miss Brazil. Yes. You might still be the next Miss Supernational, Miss Indonesia. Oh, but yes. Oh, we can still hear someone screaming Puerto Rico. Let's celebrate with all the supporters from Miss Indonesia. Oh, somebody shouted to you. Only two spots remain, and one of them belongs to Miss Philippines. I was unsure about her placement, but congratulations to her. Moments of tonight's show, certain incredible women are waiting to hear their names called, but there is only room for one, and she is Miss South Africa. She was amazing in the swimsuit. Ahead of them, and while we give them a moment to today. Oh wait, already to love done? Oh shit. Okay, let's get to the evening round, I guess. That is... Wait, 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 no, they're gonna speak something. 20 seconds. And we are starting... Wait, wait. Ambassador of... 12 remaining candidates will now have a chance to speak... Something? ...to our panel of experts to convince them why they should be the why next now? grand ambassador of the Miss Supra National I think they should do it in top five or top three, right? This will help them to make up their minds about who the final five will be. Ladies, you have... And where is the evening gown placement? Seconds. And we are starting with Miss South Africa. I just hate, you know, like the thing is... The one who gets to say the first is always at disadvantage and the one, you know, like the she will have so much time to place her thoughts, like what statement is she going to make? She can, you know, for her, it's going to be very quick and she has to think. And uh, I, I don't think it's fair though, right? Because the other person gets so much time to manage her thoughts and the first person doesn't. Either if it is like done like this, then they should have headphones or something. Otherwise, a different question should be asked. That is my per personal opinion. 
Your 20 seconds starts now. Well, the reason why I believe I should be the next uh, ambassador is because as an Indian South African, I never truly oh, understood Indian. where I belong. I was never Indian enough for some, and for others, I was no, never I South African you. enough. But since being at the Miss Supernational experience, I've come to realize that I am unique. My mere existence transcends boundaries, and my mere existence is supernatural. Oh, you spend so much time saying the unnecessary sentences. Her main. In my country, you were beauty queen, so often applauded for speaking. I think I will slay this kind of role because I speak very fast, you know. In my country, you were beauty queen, so often applauded for speaking in English. I won my national title using Filipino, our national language. As a cultural torchbearer, I seek to lead the path in forging cross-cultural understanding among my sisters as your next Miss Supranational Ambassador. She worded it very nicely. That's nice. Is your 20 seconds. My passion for performing art pushed me to become fiddly woman as I am now. It's not an easy when people assume that my passion is only about imagination. But I came here to get closer to my realization for being a brand ambassador of Miss Supernational. It's my mind mindset and I hope everyone can think same as me. Zenkuya. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Miss Puerto Rico. My parents come from humble beginnings and they taught me that with passion and perseverance you can achieve anything you want. I am a businesswoman, a mental health professional, and just a human that wants to help children flourish through education. Now I want to illuminate this bridge with the supranational organization and shine lights upon the world. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Brazil, it's your turn. I believe in the purpose of the Miss Supranational. Inspiration and aspiration for me is not only a slogan, it's a call to action. That's why I'm here today improving myself and showing for everyone the importance of the education. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Czech Republic, your turn. I adopted two underprivileged children to provide their education and to change their future. I wish to have a platform and a more opportunity to, more, to help more children all around the world because as Nelson Mandela said, education is the strongest weapon one can use to change the whole world and I strongly believe that Miss Supernational Platform is the way how can I make this dream come true. Miss Curaçao. I'm eternally grateful to have been able to stand alongside these gorgeous women oh, and have girl. the opportunity to work alongside a family-oriented organization such as Miss Supernational. As the hopeful ambassador, I would love nothing more than to heal the beauty industry and encourage more humanitarianism in this world with as many from the ground up initiatives as possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think they spent 10 seconds saying non- I mean, you know, the things which shouldn't be is said. Today, Representing the voice of the people who never stop fighting for their dream. Doesn't matter how many times she fails, she always gets up stronger than ever. And if I become a Miss International tonight, the winning is not, not just only be mine, but belong to everyone who keep fighting for their dream and never stop dreaming. Thank you. Okay, it was cute. A lot of answers are on the same par, I guess. So only Philippines had an edge for me. Perfection, only to realize that perfection, validation does not matter. What matters is who you are on the inside. And truth is what stands above it all because truth matters. Satya Mev Jete, let your truth shine. Be the voice, voice your truth, and celebrate it like always. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Finally said something different. Everybody's saying helping, helping, helping. I'm here to show uh, kindness, authenticity, and vulnerability. I have overcome my biggest insecurities, and I now I can say I love myself, and I want to inspire all women to love themselves and accept uh, accept themselves, because I know how important that is. Thank you. Oh, that was super cute. I like it. Miss Denmark, I am someone that gets fulfilled by uplifting and helping those. I believe that by working within the supranational organization and using my dedication, consistency, perseverance, and fresh perspective, we can create an amazing synergy. I hope that I would get this chance. Thank you. I don't know. I kind of didn't really like it. Just say Business no. owner. Miss USA. Good evening. 
As a physician associate and a business owner, I believe that I represent the ability of women everywhere to excel in positions of power and leadership while also embracing their beauty and femininity. I hope to use this platform to always inspire others to choose courage over comfort every day. Okay, so that was the top 12, okay? Um, for me, the best answer for me, which really felt genuine, was uh, Philippines. I really like to answer. So Philippines is my first bet for top 5. Obviously, Indonesia is going. Mm, the other one, I am a little I think I really liked India's. Three. Which one should it be? Other, all of the answers were on the same par, so I'm a little confused. Um... Actually, I'm just confused. I, I don't think I can't take any names. I really like the second, like, next to United States, the girl that was. Um, that felt genuine to me, so I would say her. But I forgot which country she from. Which one's she? Women who love themselves. I like to answer. Accept themselves. Because I know how important that is. Is that Poland? Me. Okay, so basically that would be it, I guess. Maybe Brazil or Thailand would take it. So should we go to the um, top five announcement? Oh wait, wait! Is the evening gown round as well? Best red carpet look. This is demonstrate what elegance means to them as they show their best red carpet looks on stage so that the panel of experts have one last chance to nominate only five. Okay, so basically it's also an evening gown. Brazil. Okay, give me the name and fire them for the next time because this is not right. They're not giving justice to every other contestant. Like what the kind of view is this? Even the camera angles, it's sh shit. I couldn't even see Indonesia properly. This is beautiful gown for things. You're definitely getting that top five. Trust me. Like, I think the best of, you know, evening gown is when somebody comes up front and we see the close-up view and everything, just like this, you know? But they're not giving us this. That is a beautiful gown. That uh, gown on her skin tone looks magnificent. Thailand! Come on, y'all could have chosen a better gown. If only Thailand had chosen a better gown, I think she could have gone into top five. I'm not sure if she'd gone into top five or not, but you know, I think she, 
Yeah, come on, she deserves a better gown. What's the point of zooming now in their face? You couldn't zoom in when they were walking. Oh, oh my god, I'm mad. <laughs> Alright guys, that with this video. So I think my last top five bet would be I think it would be um, definitely Philippines and Indonesia are making it. Uh, I am gonna say India. I'm not sure because I didn't couldn't properly see her gown and I couldn't see her walk at all. Um, I did like Finland, and I hope Thailand makes it. But that gown was not, you know, like the best of the gown Thailand could make. So, um, and Puerto Rico was really good. Okay, let me put it there. So let's see if I'm gonna get right or not. <laughs> I'll meet you guys in the top five announcement and the final crowning moment there. Bye bye.